You are entering high school or you're presently struggling with one or two things. Well, the solution is here. I'm here to help you. I'm Any Adams and I'm a student like you, a young YouTuber residing in the UK. And I'm here to give you insights and tips and advice on going about UK secondary school, US high school, Nigerian secondary schools, generally anywhere you are, just being in secondary school education. Yeah. So if you're ready, listen, get ready, take your tips and I'll see you succeed. So the first thing I'll be talking about going straight into it is friends. So I want you to know that you should be open to meeting new people and making friends from different backgrounds. You guys might be in schools where you have Asians, Blacks, Whites, even in Europe, different countries, Polish, you know, the Poland people, um, Spain, um, different countries all over. And then you're seeing people with different upbringings, different types of values, um, different things. You should just be open to making new friends. Know what you want and see this friend, I like him, and talk to that person. Surround yourself with people that share similar interests and values. Exactly. So, you too as well, definitely want people to approach you and you know make friends with you if you're new and all you don't just want to be the one meeting everyone so appear as a supportive friend be nice to people when people say hello say hello back don't be rude um be trustworthy be empathic i'm empathetic yeah sorry um when someone falls you just saying sorry might be make the person feel you're a really nice person i know and that's how you guys might become best friends all through high school who knows don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone and build connections. Don't be the child who just sits alone during break, um, sits by the trampoline alone or different things. I don't know. Just try and relate, try and associate with people. Initiate conversations, build connections. You're, you're entering secondary school right now. Networking is something you understand. Who you make as a friend right now will matter over the years and over the years. It's not just about jokes in as much as you should have a, as much fun as possible because this time is never going to come again remember that quality is better than quantity so it's not about how many friends you have but it's about how good this friend you have is are you comfortable around the person does the person make you happy can you call the person and ask about an assignment can you you know um start texting online can you go out together can you go and meet a teacher about a problem together? Can you ask the person to explain something you didn't understand from the teacher? That is what will make a good friends. That will make that's what will make good friends. Yeah, sorry. Um, so I'm telling you this: build good friends and be a good friend. Yeah, it's very important. Next thing is homework. That's something that's very important, and a lot of people need to understand in secondary school. So in Secondary school, we have assignments, homeworks. We had this in primary school, it was important, but a lot of times our parents could do it for us. It was in, you could do it quickly in school, you can do it at the end of school with your friends. But here, not to scare you, but a lot of this is very, very important and it's harder. So you need to take homeworks seriously. What I would recommend for homeworks is have a record book, that's what I called it, but you can call it a diary, a planner, where you write every homework and every assignment you have for the day. So when you get home during your study time, during your prep time, you can, you know, look at this jotter and know, okay, I'm to do this, like a to-do to -do list. I'm to do this, I should do this, I have this assignment to submit on this deadline to this teacher, to this classroom, by this period, Um, I should check this site, if the teacher recommended the site, you know, just saying, I saw this on this site and yeah, quickly you write it down. All this will really help. Um, next thing is you should break down large assignments into smaller tasks. In the sense that you might have an assignment that will take six hours. That might be for maybe year nine or S4 or um, you know the exam classes for example. But I'm just saying, you might have an assignment that will take a very long time. I would recommend that you do it into like 30 minutes, 20 minutes. 
if the deadline is in six days, you can do them, you know, in small bits. That will really help to reduce stress. Cause yeah, in secondary school doesn't mean fun is going. Doesn't mean you can't open your YouTube to work. Doesn't mean you don't have your TikTok to enjoy. No. So you should adjust your school to be very comfortable. I know some of that did all our assignments in secondary school always after school. You know, she'll wait two hours in the library and do her assignments. If that works for you, you should do it as well. If you have a study group, you can go to your friend's house, you guys do your assignments together. When you're done, play a little and go back home. Whatever works for you, as long as you're doing everything that's legal. Yeah. The next thing, on still on this assignment, um, a lot of times you might not understand what the assignment is about. Because it's, this time, assignment might not be exactly from what you were taught in class. It could be like research work. So I would advise that if you are struggling with anything, you should go and meet your teacher, no matter what problem you are having. If it's math, go and meet your teacher. Like, I had a problem with math in secondary school and I just didn't like going to the teachers. I didn't like it. And then over time I realized all I needed was just to talk to people, you know, explain this to me. Try and put effort as well personally. But then you realize how, how this person explains to you you might not understand, but how this other person will explain to you might be better. So how this teacher explains in class might not be as good as how the other math teacher in your school will explain that you understand. And then look at me now, for example, started secondary school with F in math and graduated with an A. Yeah, still in secondary school because, you know, in Scotland we have like the A levels in secondary school style of education. But like, I would say, I mean, like what you call sixth form or A-levels in other countries and England. So the next thing I will talk about is discipline in secondary school. This is very important. You're in secondary school now. Start thinking of yourself like a man, like a woman, like a lady, like a gentleman. You know, you need to be able to comport yourself at all times running on the hallway, you are above that. Um, shouting, crying unnecessarily, you are free to let your emotions out, but you know, there are some things that you can take in to your chest and you should, you know, get ready to do that in secondary school. Um, set realistic goals for yourself. By the end of year seven, I want to graduate with nothing less than a C. By the end of year eight, I want to graduate with five B's and nothing less. By the, by the time, poof, before you know it, right, when I'm in year 12, when I'm in S6, when I'm in S5, when I'm in SS3, I want to have all A's. And if you set it for yourself and put the right effort to it, you will definitely get to it. Extra prep time, um, extra study, you know, reading textbooks. I never did that, but it works for some people. Um, what works for me instead of textbook, YouTube videos, you know, just be determined. Determination will help. Um, prioritize your tasks based on importance and deadline. So it's not about the subject you like more. It's not about I like English more, so I'm going to do it. It's about, you know, which is more important than that moment. I will even advise you put more effort into the ones you're not good at than the ones you enjoy. So you shouldn't have past questions, for example, and be practicing the subject you enjoy rather than the ones you think are difficult. So that's it. And when you win, when you succeed, reward yourself. You know, I did something today. I was like, or oh, yesterday night, I would say, I was like, if I study and I do not sleep, I would get myself chocolate. So you know that kind of thing. I'm like, it's your money, yes, but you're just rewarding yourself. And then you, this only works if you have, you know, self-respect, self-control. So you're like, I'm not going to do this unless I do this. People have, you know, their reward systems, and it works. I'm telling you, it works. People have different things they used to reward themselves. Yet, I won't touch my phone. I won't watch anime. I'm giving an example. I don't watch anime. But I won't watch anime until. I finish reading this book until I finish answering these questions. And to really help, I must tell you, 
hope I'm not being too serious. Secondary school is not that deep. It is deep, but not that deep. I just should I smile? Should I smile? I'm smiling. My God, I'm smiling. <laughs> I'm joking, but I just want you guys to know that they are serious matters, and this is serious as well. It's fun and also there. I've talked about the friends. Our friends have fun. Create the best memories. Like I said. So. Next thing, exams, the most scary thing out of all of them. Personally, I don't like exams, I'm trying to be realistic. Sometimes I wonder why was it created? But you get, you always have to test people's knowledge at every stage to know have they acquired the knowledge properly or do they still need help. First things first, they always say this in every school. Start studying way before your exams. Start studying well. Advance to your exams. In advance to your exams. And I can say it's helpful because even if you don't remember towards the end of your exam, when you're revising, you're like, mm, I've studied this before. And then it's easier to remember than when you've not even read this before. You're like, um, 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 Photosynthesis is photosynthesis is. But if you've been hearing it, you know, having your study planner, um, following it, studying your books, studying your journals, exchanging notes over the weeks and weeks, 12 weeks, 13 weeks, 14 weeks of school, then it will be easier to study and you have less pressure. Next thing, like speaking about journals and journaling is. You should review notes, take notes down in class. I'm telling you, no matter how much you listen, a lot of times you will forget what you were taught in class. Write, like you're in your own words, whatever you learn in class, write it down. Like you're listening. If the teacher is going too fast, excuse me, man, I am not getting you. Please be slow. I need to understand you. And then take down whatever you want to take down. Yes, your classmates, you know, being secondary school students, be like, why? You're disturbing, please. I'm tired of this class. Why are you still? But then, you're not going to share results. Your result is for you. And after everything, oh my god, we've graduated, we've graduated. Ah, ah. Oh my god. So, that's it. So, you should um, be calm, focused, don't be scared towards the exams. Anxiety is normal. If you need extra help, or uh, what we call um, additional, what they call it again, AAAs. I can't remember the phone name right now, but like when you need extra time, maybe you have anxiety, you're dyslexic, um, you know different things, just talk to your school, they will definitely provide help for you, IT, you know, me, I get out of writing for long for sometimes, and I decide, okay, I need to talk to my school, I need help on this, and what help do I need, okay, maybe I need IT. I'm trying to give an example. So, and IT is provided. It's about equity. Making sure everyone achieves the same goal. That's the goal of every school. Gains, everyone achieves the same knowledge. Gains the same knowledge, but the methods might be different according to each and every person. Everyone is different. So, finally, um, on high school tips for today, one more. Always we need to share is extracurricular extracurricular activities. So the next thing is extracurricular activities I'll discuss. Joint clubs. It's, it's, it's not harder than that. Joint clubs. It doesn't have to be sports, but do sports as well, I'll recommend. To help with scholarship. You no, know, towards the ending. Um if you're interested in one. To help with um getting jobs, different things. But I'll just say you should join a club in your school, one or two clubs. I recommend a sports club and another one. Um, someone like me, I could be in basketball and let's say press club, that's the news club. Um, you know, that kind of thing. So join a club, it will also create opportunities for you to make friends there, build bonds, gain knowledge, impact the society and everything. It will be really helpful. Personally, I'm in a club called um, Leo's and we do like charity stuff for, for the society in our little way. We we'll do fundraising events and all. Take leadership roles in those clubs. You know, um, if it's the matching club, 
decide that you want to be a captain, decide that you want to be the lead drummer, put all your efforts into it, come out the best. It's well for your CV as well because you're trying to build a name. Also, if you want to be a prefect, all these things matter because they've been watching you, everyone is watching you from, you know, S1, from year 7, from GS1 and it really matter. So, don't be afraid to try new things, be comfortable. If you think you like it, even if you're not good at it, try it and you realize you'll soon become good at it. Before you know it, remember, I remember when I was so bad and so trash at this, but now I'm the best at it. And then, you know, all your classmates clapping for you, forgetting that there was once a time you were really bad. But you've put the effort and you've overcome, you get. So generally, don't be scared if you're entering year seven, soon, next term, next session, or you're in a class and you're presently struggling with one or two things. Be calm. Everything will be all right. Enter. In life, everything is a risk and you will not know until you enter it. So have a great time. We all have our struggles, we all have our testimonies and I'm wishing you good in your new class, in, in school, in everything. And I pray you enjoy high school, I pray you enjoy secondary school. Much love from here. If you have any questions, put them down in the comment section. Make sure to like, share and subscribe. My name is Eni Adams, a student like you and I'm going to school because we have to. Bye.